Hey guys, it's Alexa again, and you're watching Taltanic. This multi-billionaire has wowed the world with so many incredible ideas, visions, and dreams, with many of them already taking shape and coming true. His name is Elon Reeve Musk, and he's the guy behind Tesla, PayPal, and people eventually settling on Mars. He's the 46th richest person in the world, and he's our man of the moment with everything you need to know about him right here in this video. A little bit of everything. Born in Pretoria, South Africa in 1971, Musk is the son of May Musk, who is a model and dietitian from Saskatchewan, Canada, and Errol Musk, who was an electromechanical engineer, pilot, and sailor. He has two younger siblings, brother Kimball, born in 1972, and sister Tosca, born in 1974. His paternal grandmother was British and his grandfather American, which is why we say he's a little bit of everything. Severed Relations his parents split up in 1980, and Musk stayed with his father in Pretoria. It was his decision, but in hindsight he says it was not a good idea. He doesn't have a relationship with his father as an adult, and has a half-brother and sister via his father having more children. Childhood Memories When he was a kid, Musk loved reading. At the tender age of 10, he developed a keen interest in computing with the Commodore VIC-20, which was a PC released in 1980. Through this, he taught himself programming, and at 12 years of age, he sold the code for a video game he developed himself called Blastar. It was bought by a magazine called PC and Office Technology for roughly $500. You can still get a web version of this game online. One for the collection. A series of books he read as a child was Isaac Asimov's Foundation series, which included, and I quote, you should try to take the set of actions that are likely to prolong civilization, minimize the probability of a dark age, and reduce the length of a dark age if there is one. Come out stronger than ever. Musk was bullied while growing up and once landed up in a hospital when a group of boys tossed him down a flight of stairs and beat him so badly he lost consciousness. School days. His schooling included Waterkloof House Preparatory School, Bryanston High School, and Pretoria Boys High School. His father wanted him to attend college in Pretoria, but Musk was determined to get to America. He was quoted as saying, I remember thinking and seeing that America is where great things are possible, more than any other country in the world. Just before he turned 18, he dodged military service in South Africa and left for Canada against his father's wishes. He ended up staying at Queen's University for three years, then getting an undergraduate degree in economics at the University of Pennsylvania, and finally headed to Stanford in California to study for his PhD in physics, which coincided with the internet boom. So, after just two days at university, he dropped out and went on to bigger and better things. Love at First Sight While he did his three-year stint at Queen's University, he met his first wife, Canadian author Justine Wilson. She said that Musk asked her out for ice cream, which she declined, and rather stayed in to study. Next minute, he had rocked up at her door with two dripping ice creams. The pair married in 2000 and separated in 2008. Their firstborn, tragically, had SIDS, and through in vitro, they had five other sons, twins in 2004 and triplets in 2006. Mix business with pleasure You'd think that Musk was all all business and no pleasure, but that's just not the case. While he was at Penn University, he and his best mate Ende Oresi converted their college house into a nightclub to make extra cash to help pay for the rent. We'd be lying if we said he was partying with the rest of the crowd, though. As Resi says, Musk would sneak off to his room and spend his time playing video games. Perfect timing. It was 1995, and Musk was just 24 years old when his next move was to head to Stanford University in California to obtain his PhD. As we said, he was only there for two days because he had this realization that there was more potential in the internet than there was in physics, and he went on to develop Zip2, which we'll touch on hereafter. Within four years, Musk sold it to Compaq for $307 million, making him an instant millionaire. Joint Effort Zip2 was a web software company that got its start in life through angel investors, and Musk, along with his brother Kimball, developed this online city guide for the newspaper publishing industry. He had contracts with the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune, but when Musk wanted to be CEO, the board members weren't keen. That's when Musk sold, and although he got $307 million overall, he only walked away with $22 million. Another day, another dollar. With a cool $22 million in the bank in 1999, Musk took $12 million of it and used it to co-found X.com, which was an online banking company. Just 12 months later, he merged with Confinity, a rival firm, and then two years later, they renamed their company PayPal. It wasn't long before eBay saw the potential and bought it for $1.5 billion. In the end, it netted Musk $180 million. 
man on a mission. In between making the $180 million, Musk was also working on his Mars Oasis, which embodied a project to get a greenhouse on Mars to get crops growing on the red planet. He took a trip to Moscow in 2001 with his best friend and Dale Ressi and Jim Cantrell, an aerospace supplies fixer, to purchase refurbished Dnepr intercontinental ballistic missiles. Cantrell says that the Russians were not impressed with Musk, calling him a novice and that one even spat on him. They went back to the States with nothing. Don't give up. Musk certainly did not, and returned to Russia in 2002, this time with Mike Griffin, who had worked for NASA. Pretty sure he was not spat on again. To cut the very long story short, the Russians offered him a rocket for $8 million. Musk allegedly stormed out the meeting, did some sums, and realized he could build his own rocket at a fraction of the cost. This was what pushed Musk to start SpaceX, with his long-term objectives to create a true spacefaring civilization. It's his dream to spend his last moments on Mars but not to do so by crashing into it. Moving forward, so now Musk is founder, CEO, and lead designer of SpaceX. You have to wonder if there's anything this guy can't do. SpaceX works on developing and manufacturing space rockets and spacecraft. It was founded in 2002, and within six years, this company had developed and launched the Falcon 1. This is the world's first privately developed liquid fuel launch rocket. Then, four years after that world first, the company had another coup. They successfully launched the Dragon spacecraft, making it the first commercial vehicle to transport cargo to and from the International Space Station. No time wasters. You'd think by now Musk would be a little preoccupied, but no, because in 2003 he co-founded Tesla Motors, which was later renamed Tesla Incorporated. The goal of the company was to speed up the world's transition to a more sustainable future, and with that in mind, they launched the Roadster sports car in 2008. The car was powered by electricity, and there's said to be a new version that we can look forward to in 2020, which will be, as they say, the quickest car in the world. Speeds will reach 200 and 50 miles per hour. Draw inspiration. It's easy to see how and why Robert Downey Jr. drew inspiration for his role of Iron Man from Elon Musk. Musk even had a cameo in Iron Man 2, which was released in 2010. Life moves on. Musk found happiness again in 2008 when he started dating Tallulah Riley, an English actress and model. They tied the knot in 2010, but by January of 2012, Musk made it public that they were ending their four-year relationship. He tweeted to Riley, it was an amazing four years. I will love you forever. You will make someone very happy happy one day. That didn't last long though, and they remarried in July 2013, but by March of 2016 that marriage was also over, with Riley filing for divorce from Musk father figure. Musk was once quoted as saying his father was a terrible human being, but has never delved into why he called his father that. His father made headlines in March of 2018 for having a child with his former stepdaughter, who is only 30 years old. Errol Musk is 72. Errol Musk used to be married to Heidi and has known Jaina since she was four years old. He now has two children with Heidi, with whom he was married for 18 years. Blood is thicker than water. Despite his tumultuous relationship with his father, Elon Musk is very close to the rest of his family, and they all seem to share the same entrepreneurial streak. Kimball is striving to make the food industry a healthier and more sustainable one, and his sister Tosca launched Passion Flicks, which is a romance film network. He is also very close to his mom, May. Mum's the word. Speaking of his mom, May, she is a well-known model and graced the covers of Time Magazine, New York Magazine, and Elle Canada. She's been in adverts for Special K Cereal, for Revlon, and was even in a Beyonce music video. She became CoverGirl's oldest spokesmodel at age 69 in September 2017 and still runs her business as a dietitian and gives presentations worldwide. And the list keeps growing. Elon Musk has developed other companies too, such as SolarCity, Hyperloop, OpenAI, Neuralink, The Boring Company, and Pravda.com. That's unheard of. Amber Heard and Elon Musk began dating in 2016 for about a year, but they broke up citing their intense schedules as the reason. Musk commented on one of her Instagram posts saying that they were still friends, remain close, and love one another. And also, who knows what the future holds. He went on to tell Rolling Stone that he was genuinely in love with her and that the breakup hurt him very badly. Musk to the rescue. So what does Elon Musk and the Tom Long Cave rescue have in common? In July 2018, you'll remember how the 12 young football players and their coach got trapped inside a cave when water levels rose unexpectedly and they were all successfully rescued by divers. It was quite a long, traumatic ordeal and Musk built a small rescue pod to try and assist, which he personally delivered to Thailand. It was called Wild Boar after the kids' football team. And should that not have worked, he also had inflatable escape pods made by wing inflatables. These creations ended up not being needed, and the Thai cave rescue chief called them impractical. 
And it's just about time for our number one. But before I share it with you, let us know in the comments below who you would like to learn more about. In Hot Water After this intense situation in Thailand, Musk must have been angry because he called the British diver who rescued the kids an awful name. It was completely unwarranted and unnecessary, and it seems that person on the receiving end of the slander has decided to take it further. There's been talk of a payout in the region of $75,000. Musk has apologized, but it did ruin a lot of good that he had already done in that situation, and it was a really juvenile way to end things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay connected with us. Oh.